Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia, and today I'm going to show you how to choose fabrics for an ombre quilt or table runner or any other fabric project that you might be interested in doing. Uh, this is actually a table runner I made, um, and you can see I used the coral color wave. I really am in love with that right now. It's 2019, so you, that's the color of the year is the living coral Pantone color of the year. So I decided to go with that today. All right, let's get started. First thing is you need to have a decent size fabric stash. Now you can always go to the store and buy, that makes it easy. You can just buy a um, packet of ombre fabrics. That's not a problem at all. But I think it's more fun to go through my own fabric stash and choose ones that I really like. So let me show you what I do. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the pattern. For example, this table runner, I need eight different fabrics. Now different patterns, if you're making a big quilt, you may need more fabrics. But this is, we're gonna base this tutorial on needing eight different fabrics for the runner. So I pull everything that's in my coral stash and I don't pick and choose until it's upstairs in my better lighting so I can see everything. And then I just start pulling fabrics and picking out what I do and whittling it down to, t to eight fabrics. So here's what I do. I'll go through the first round and I pick anything that really stands out to me. Uh, this is way too orange and red. So I'll pull that out. Uh, this, while I love the coral, the fish, it's too bold a pattern and it'll stand out. You wanna get that nice subtle tone it, um, look for something, uh, for an ombre look or a gradient look. This one, again, I would have loved for a lighter one, but then it has that darker floral pattern and it's just too, mu too, uh, too much of a pattern. This is too orange, didn't care for it. When I look at it with all the other fabrics, it just sort of stood out to me. This has that gorgeous coral in it. Unfortunately, it has a lot of gray in it, and to me it reads gray, especially if you cut a big strip of it or a big piece of it. So as much as I want to use that one, I'm going to pull it. This has those really dark undertones. I, again, I love the color, but not going to work. This one has a lot of beige. This one's too pink. I have a lot of pinky corals, and I want it to sort of stay on that line, but this, is, this actually reads as way too pink when you look at the others. Here's another one that I really liked, but it, uh, this one was a possibility. I might leave that one in for the first round. This one I think is way too orange. Here's another one that's way too orange. Some of them will stand out right away and you say, oh no, no way am I gonna use that. So, all right, so there's your first round. Now you're still gonna need more. So I'm gonna come back and I'll just keep pulling. This one, unfortunately, while I like the color, it has too much pattern in it. Um, this one I think would be too purple. This one isn't bad, but I honestly, it's not my favorite fabric. I don't know if I like that pattern so much, so I'll pull that one. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep this light one in here because I really like that. Um, you do need a really light one and then, of course, a much darker one. So let's see. This is too pink. This one, I think when you put it, lay it down flat, it's gonna have too much of a pattern, as much as I like the color. Here's another one I think is gonna be too orange. This one, I don't like the, the stripe on it. I don't know if that would, that might detract from it. And this one, I again, I think is reading a little too pink. So we're still, we're keep narrowing it down. Again, I, I think I'm obviously getting more towards the pinks on this one. This one reads too pink to me too now. All right. And then when you get fewer and fewer, I lay them out flat again. Another one I think the pattern, even though they're both coral colors, they're, they're gonna read too busy. I will lay them out flat, sort of, and try to organize them in the way. And while I'm doing that, of course, I will pull more fabric that I don't care for. And remembering I need eight of these, so let's see. There's another one, I sort of like that one. I like that look right there, those four there. You can play with them, that's the fun part. A couple tips here, get a friend to come look at or 
daughter, husband, whoever, tell them, ask them what they think, if it really looks like it's ombre or not. I have a teenage daughter, so she's pretty helpful with that. Um, so there we go. Now I still need to get it down to eight. Um, let's see, and then you might want to fiddle with them. One other thing I do is I leave them overnight. Uh, I would go ahead, see I like these, I don't know if I like these two in there, but um, so far I sort of like the way this looks. I would leave them overnight, come look at them the next morning, ask a friend, or I might uh, take a picture of them with my cell phone and go back later in the day and say, nah, this because sometimes when you take a picture something stands out more so than uh, it would with, the, with your eye. This one I think, I'm not liking that one so much, and this one again I think is reading too pink. So I'll pull that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we need to get rid of three more. I think that's going to be too orange for me. And as much as I like that, it's got that purple in it, which I think is just not quite uh, what I want for this piece. One, two. Let's see. Some of them I want to organize a little differently. And then you can play with the color uh, variants too. See, I think that that, switch them around, just play with them. That's really the big thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, there's your eight fabric. I like the way they look. Again, I would, would ask a friend, leave it overnight, take a picture of it and come back and look at it later. Um, but I'm really happy with the way that looks. You get the really light and the dark. I didn't want it too, too dark. I really wanted to let that coral shine and I just think that that coral shine. And some people might think that's a little busy, but for this piece, if you see with just a thin strip, I think it works nicely. And when it's all sewn together, you get that really nice ombre look. And you can do that with quilts, table runners, you know, anything you want to sew would be work well with this uh, technique. And I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you.